Hey guys, what is up? This is all come from my Thursday boot sale finds. I go to a boot sale in the morning before work and get to work for 9 o'clock and do a full day of work. The first seller sold me Jack the Ripper vs Sherlock Holmes or Sherlock Holmes vs Jack the Ripper. Um, I know this game holds its value. He asked for three quid, so, you know, if I haven't got it, I'll sell it on. I remember playing it around my dad's years ago. It's a really fun game to play. Easy achievements in that. So three quid. I buy it all day long. I reckon it's worth that second hand all day. Um, and I thought after that, I've paid a little bit more than I wanted to on an Xbox 360 game. After that, maybe my luck will change. So I'm walking around, didn't find anything for ages, and I was really gutted about it. And there's a guy selling all DIY stuff with an odd couple of games, including this Xbox game. When I asked how much, he said 50p. Can't say no to a 50p game. He had a few PS1 games which he said were the same price, including Apocalypse. I don't know who the hell would pay 20 quid for it. The case is smashed, as you can see, but the game inside is actually in really good condition and looks like it's barely been used. Wipeout 2097. I think I've got this. I remember Wipe Free Out from my childhood. It was an amazing game. I'm hoping that is somewhere near what the other one was. Heart of Darkness. I've been told that this is a real fun game to play. I think it's a two-disc game, and for 50p you can't... You know, I've basically bought four games for... A two pounds you can't do that anywhere four games for two pounds you can't even get the bus there and back at that price there were two nintendo products including this i think it's turret rage wars it's only about five pounds online but he wanted i believe he wanted two pounds for this and another nintendo product um, the other nintendo game is american but it's a good title and if i can get the adapter i will be keeping it it's as you can see it's the, the simpsons bart nightmare game um, I'm not sure how good the gameplay is, but I've been told it's a good game to have in a collection. It's a shame it's the American copy. And everything in this blue bag comes from one boot sale person. So starting with these four PS2 games, they cost me £2. I like my 50p games, clearly. But not only games, I always look out for cards and toys and figures from my, my childhood and beforehand. Um, women were selling these two tins full of Pokemon cards. They're only about 10 years old. They're 2004. 5, 2006, 2007 copyrights on them. Um, I'm guessing they're from the, the um, Diamond and Pearl series because it's what's on the tins. But she wanted a tenner for them too, and there's about 400 cards in there. These were 50p each. They're Yu Gi Oh! 5DS cards, they're brand new in pack. Um, I gave up watching Yu Gi Oh! after Gen uh, the GX series, but you can't say no 50p a pack, they're £3.50 in shops. So, yeah, this week boot sale finds weren't as good as the other week. But, for all of this, she charged me £17, and for that alone, I think that's a great find. I think I spent about £25 on this bundle, a lot of it will be keeping. I'm probably going to be selling the Pokemon cards or selling the common ones. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, and if you want to leave a comment, I'd be really grateful.